Stop farming artifacts. Really, unless every single character you use on a regular basis has their talents covered. They're as high as you want them to be. This is a piece of advice that I never really took myself, but recently one of my longtime friends, Talakai, brought this to my attention, and it makes a lot of sense. When you're spending your resin on talent book materials to raise a talent, this is a guaranteed power increase, whereas farming artifacts to try and get a better piece is purely RNG. You could spend a thousand resin and not actually see a power increase. That is the long and short of it. However, there are some outliers, some nuances, some things to consider. Let's take this new hunter set, for example. This is in the same domain as Golden Troop. While Golden Troop itself is a little bit more niche, it is best in slot for arguably one of the best characters of 2023, Farina. And the Hunter set, if you have Farina, is insane on a ton of different characters. So it's a very high value domain to spend your resin on, but especially after you already have a good set or two on your most important characters, the priority really should be on talents. Again, it's a guaranteed damage increase. I mean, my Nuvolet is my favorite main DPS. I never even crowned his basic. His skill and burst are still really low and they're not the focal point of his kit or anything, but they still do okay damage. So we are mainly just talking about resin, but the thing is talents also require other materials and a ton of Mora, especially at those last few levels, and there is diminishing returns. You get approximately the same boost per level, but the materials required go up exponentially. And while we currently have 40 million Mora and don't have to worry about that, crowning a basic costs 700,000 Mora. That's a lot. But if you don't crown super often, you don't necessarily need to run ley lines for Mora. You get Mora in so many different ways through events, the battle pass if you bought it, various daily and weekly things, 300,000 per month from the Stardust Exchange. Assuming you do summon every now and then, it is one of the more valuable things to grab from here. But to keep it simple, we are going to assume you do have to farm all 700,000. Enemy drops, while sometimes annoying, do not require any resin to obtain. So what I'd like to do for this video is kind of break down the costs for leveling traces, you know, Mora included, which is the primary other resource here. Like I'm not really gonna count weekly boss mats because most people do their weekly bosses anyway. It's like, you can only do them once a week. And it's still a relatively small expense compared to Mora. We're not really gonna get into the discussion of when you should start farming artifacts in your sort of Genshin journey. The common advice is to wait until you're at least AR45, but we are assuming you are getting a guaranteed five-star drop per run. So let's kind of start at the end here, because I actually really wanted to crown Nuvolet's basic anyway, so what does this really cost in resin? The hardest thing to calculate will be these materials, because it's a little RNG. There are some really useful information on the Genshin Wiki. This is basically the talent book drop chance. We are going to be mainly focusing on domain level four here. The overall distribution here puts an average of 2.2 two star books, 1.98 three star books, and 0.22 purple books. So based on this paragraph, it says there are two different roles. The first role is how many two star drops we get, which is between two and three. Again, average being 2.2. The next role, the more important one, gives us drop packs. And on average, at Domain 4, we'll get 2.2 drop packs. That's mostly just going to be 3-star blue books, with a 10% chance to get a purple, which is why I'm always excited to see a purple. They're very rare. In most cases, you will only get two, but if you're lucky, you can get up to four 3-4-star three four books. But let's do a run just for an example here. Just using 20 resin for now, of course, with condensed, you basically just double everything. So we're at the end. Let's use original resin. And we had the worst luck mathematically possible. It is possible to get three greens here instead Said, but average is 2.2, makes sense. And then these blues come from the drop pack chance, which you can get up to four of, but we only got two, the minimum. Granted, again, the average is 2.2, so it's not surprising we only got two. And then the final chance is 10% per drop to get a purple. So it is possible, though very unlikely, to get zero blues and two purples. Armed with all this knowledge, we can make a pretty accurate estimated guess on the resin cost of a talent. So to make it easier to digest, we're gonna break everything down to green books. Also, we're gonna look at five runs at once or 100 resin, which means on average, we would get 11 greens and 11 random drops, either blue or purple at domain level four. 10 of those will be blue and one will be purple. Adding that all together, on average, 100 resin gives you 50 green books. So we can also say an average of 10 green books or 20 green books for a normal or condensed resin, respectively. With all of that out of the way, we can finally see how much resin it takes to get 16 purples for our Nouvellet's crowned 
basic. 16 purples is the equivalent of 144 greens, rounding up to 150 because if we have exactly average math, we need to do that 15th run. And in total, that is 300 resin, quite a big chunk of resin. This is also probably why you need a very limited item like a crown of insight, because going from 9 to 10 is a pretty big resource sink, and we didn't even talk about the Mora yet. That's a lot simpler because it's always guaranteed. Spending 20 resin at a ley line when we don't have a 2x bonus will always give you 60,000, a little more if you're already max level, but we'll not count that. So to get 700,000 Mora, you need 11.6 runs, again rounding up to 12, which is another 240 resin. So in total, just to get one talent from level 9 to 10, we need 540 resin, which is, yes, a lot, but there have been many times where I've spent 540 resin on artifacts and didn't really get anything better than what I already had, especially for domains I farm a lot, like the Hunter set. And this is a guaranteed damage increase, so we're gonna go ahead and just do it. Of course, I only recommend crowning for the absolutely important skills on your favorite characters. Not only does it need one of those very rare crowns, but as you could just see, it's very expensive. I have characters traces at level eight for God mode for a reason, because it's very efficient. Eight to nine is stepping into that really hard diminishing returns territory, but it's still not too bad. Let's get his elemental skill to eight as well, and we'll quickly go over the costs from six to nine pretty much. So we do need an equivalent of 36 books, and I would just round up to 40 like I did with the crown, but we will have some left over, so we would have to calculate that for seven to eight as well. So what I'm going to do instead is figure out the resin cost for a single green book, and of course it won't make sense because you can't spend less than 20 resin, but just bear with me. Since 100 resin gets you 50 greens, that means one resin equals half of a green. So 72 resin for the books, and 40 resin for the 120k Mora. 112 resin, honestly, much more reasonable than over 500 for the last one. You know what I mean? And you're getting the same increase here. Let's go ahead and grab that and check out seven to eight. For the six purples, you need 108 resin. And for the 260k Mora, you need 87 resin. So 195 resin total, still not too bad about what you'd get in a day. Eight to nine, we need the equivalent of 108 green books, which comes out to 216 resin and 450k Mora which comes out to 150 resin. In total, 366 resin. Diminishing returns really start from eight to nine. So unless you feel like it's really important to your character's kit, I would still be a little hesitant on getting them to nine. The real world totals most likely will be smaller, mainly because when you're actually getting these green and blue books to purple or whatever, you have a chance to get free extra materials. That's very RNG and inconsistent, but it will happen here and there. Just for fun, let's do the math on trace level one to six as well. Level one to two is 10 resin, level two to three is 18 resin, level three to four is 32 resin, level four to five is 46 resin, level five to six is 67 resin. So from one to six, you need to spend approximately 173 resin, which is funny because that's only a little bit more than from six to seven and is actually less than from seven to eight. So yeah, this was an incredibly long-winded way to say diminishing returns, bad. Even so, for the important talents, I would get them up to at least eight before trying to improve your artifact situation. That's the main takeaway. Like, of course, it does depend. Like with Nuvolet, the hunter set is so good on him that if you don't have an at least okay set, I would actually prioritize that over trying to crown his basic, for example. I think overall he would get stronger with like at least the right main stats. Sure, Nuvolet still can be strong in like Heart of Depth or whatever. So yeah, equip him with Heart of Depth while he farm the Hunter set. <laughs> Just saying. All of this is probably very obvious to a lot of you guys. Prioritize the thing that'll guaranteed make your character stronger than the thing that's more of a crapshoot. But it also might be something some people need to hear, like me, for example. I feel like I have kind of fallen into the trap of like just investing in as many artifacts as I can to hopefully get a really, really solid character. But there was guaranteed power right here, you know, that I just didn't bother with for way longer than I should have. So I guess since we did all that math anyway, I guess it'd be interesting. Trap it up by giving you the total resin cost from one to crown for a single talent. Again, just including books and Mora. 1,426. That do be a lot of resin, actually, jeez. <laughs> Again, this is completely from scratch, disregarding any Mora you currently have or get from Maybe events, etc. You don't get many free books, so that's gonna be somewhat accurate. Assuming you were a Genshin billionaire and didn't have to worry about Mora at all, the Casa Crown is still 828 resin, so 
Uh, the Mora definitely puts a big chunk on top of that, but definitely a lot less scary if you don't have to consider the Mora. There's a cool page on the Genshin Weekly, which I'll leave in the description down below. I recommend after watching this video, you go here, click on your location. In my case, it's Europe. Check this list. If you see characters you use regularly and you enjoy using, check their talent levels and go get some books for them. But yeah, all right. That was a lot of numbers. I hope you enjoyed. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed, etc. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.